Good day, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over the derivation of the law of sines. So um, before we state what the law of sines um, is, let's go ahead and uh, sketch uh, a triangle. Actually, I'm going to be sketching sketching two triangles that are identical. So there, there goes the first one. I'm going to label it in, using the following formats. This is uh, uppercase A and lowercase A. This is uppercase B lowercase v, this is uppercase c, and lowercase c, okay? All right, now let's make a duplicate of this triangle. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to construct the height of this triangle from two uh, different uh, vertices. So from the first triangle, um, I'm going to construct the altitude of the triangle from, uh, from vertex b, okay? So here we have from vertex b going straight down, um, that's one vertex, so let's just assume that this line right here, this is a right angle, okay? So this is 90, this is a 90 degree angle down here. Okay, now we're going to construct another uh, vertex, I mean another altitude used on the second triangle. Note that these two triangles are identical, okay? So let's say that this line right here is perpendicular to segment BC. And it intersects with uh, seg with a uh, vertex A. All right, so there goes our second um, second height or altitude of the triangle. All right, so what I'm going to do now is um, label my two altitudes. Let's call the first one. Uh, let's call this one H1, and then this one H2. All right. Okay, now. Uh, Taking a look at H1, we're going to set up some equations and see if we can derive the law of, of sines, all right? So what is the law of sines? Let's, I'm going to state the law of sines on the side so we have an idea as to where we're going. Uh, so the law of sines is as follows. Let me write it up here. It's basically sine A over little a equals sine B over little b equals sine big C over little c, all right? So I have some tutorials on my good serve showing how to use this uh, uh, law to solve our uh, triangles, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and derive this. This formula is what we um, desire to derive. Remember, the reciprocal of, of this entire equation is also um, uh, the law of sines. All right, so looking at the first triangle, it must be about the same. Uh, what you need to remember is right triangle trig, so Cartella. Remember what that means? So Cartella basically means that sine is opposite of a hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent of a hypotenuse, and tan is opposite of adjacent, okay? So let's take a look at uh, angle A. Let's mark angle A. If this is my reference angle, that means that H1 is going to be my opposite. So this will be my opposite right here. And since this is opposite the 90 degree angle, C is, C is going to be my hypotenuse. Okay, so let's formulate a triangle, uh, formulate a, an, an equation using this right triangle right here, this right triangle. So I know that sine A, considering this right triangle, sine A um, is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So let's see, the opposite is going to be H1 and the hypotenuse is going to be little c, okay? So I know that sine A is basically H1 over, over C. Okay, now let's move this to the right. Now what I'm going to do is uh, shift my attention to um, this other triangle, to the right of H1, okay? So looking at that triangle, I'm gonna mark this and call this, uh, this is angle C. And if this is angle C, that means this segment right here, this altitude becomes the opposite also, and this is my hypotenuse. All right, looking at the right side of this triangle. Now, I can also write a set of an equation using that this right triangle. I know that sine C is opposite of a hypotenuse also. The um, opposite is H1, and the hypotenuse is a, all right? So here we have sine c equals h1 over a. 
Now, if we look at these two equations, we notice that they have H1 in common. So we can, if we can isolate H1 in both cases, set them equal to each other, then we can have an equation. All right. So how do I isolate H1 in this case, uh, in the case with sign A? Well, I can multiply both sides by C. So I'm going to have, using the reflexive property of equality, H1 equals uh, C sine A. Okay, or let's write, write in the reverse uh, order. We can just write uh, C sine A equals H1. Okay, now in this case, if I want to isolate H1, I can multiply both sides by A. So times this by A, times this by A. And then I'll have the equation uh, A sine big C equals H1. All right. Since H1 equals to H1, we can set these two equal to each other. Then we have, um, so since H1 equals to H1, we're going to set these two equal to each other. We're going to have C sine A equals a sine c all right so now notice what i'm going to do i want this a uh, to the left and c to the right so i'm going to divide by those two terms so divide by both sides by a by a c so divide this by a c and divide the right side by a c okay so on the left side the c's divide out and on the, and on the right side the a's divide out so that gives me the equation sine A over A equals sine C over C. All right. Now let's shift our, let's call this, uh, yeah, let's leave it alone. Let's shift our attention to the second triangle that we have. And now we're going to work with B and C, okay? See what we can end up with with that. Now focusing on the upper triangle of the altitude, let me call this point X. So a triangle AB, ABX. Uh, this is a this is going to be a right angle right here. It's a right angle. So in triangle ABX, if this is my reference angle right here, then this side H2 is going to be my opposite. Okay, H2 will be my opposite, and this will be my hypotenuse because it is a side that's opposite the 90 degree angle. So I can formulate the right uh, an equation using right triangle trig on triangle ABX. So sine uppercase B is opposite of a hypotenuse as we determined before from so which is going to be my opposite is H2 over my hypotenuse which is C okay all right so let's uh, let's partition our workspace so we don't confuse this second case with uh, the first one go pick it off the center all right so now uh, what I'm going to do next is um, Set of the equation, we're going to have sine B equals H2 over C. All right. So we're going to multiply both sides by C. So times this side by C, times this side by C. And that's going to yield um, C sine B equals H2. All right. Now let's set up another equation using triangle a x b the right side of the house which is h2 so in that case we're going to have sine uppercase c what is that going to be well let's mark it if i mark sine angle c then that means that the side opposite it which is also h2 is going to be my opposite and b will be the hypotenuse of my right triangle because it's opposite the 90 degree angle in triangle a x c all right so sine c is also opposite of a hypotenuse over H, which is H2 is the opposite, and H, the hypotenuse, is B. All right? So with that in mind, we have um, sine C equals H2 over B. Now, to get H2 by itself, so we can make a substitution, I'll multiply both sides by B. Multiply by B, multiply by B. And we're going to have um, B sine C equals h2 all right if you notice we're doing exactly what we did here but with a different pair of letters a and c uh in the second case i mean a, i mean b and c in the second case a and c in the first case okay so now we can set up an equation here since h2 this h2 equals h2 we're going to have uh c sine b um equals b 
sine c. All right, I need the b to the left and c to the right. In order to do that, I'm going to divide on uh, both sides of the equation by bc. All right, so divide this by bc and divide that by bc. All right, what you see happen here is that uh, the c's cancel out on the left and the b's cancel out on the right, okay? All right, so what we have, we're gonna have um, sine b over b. equals sine c over c, okay? So since we have sine a over a equals sine c over c, and since sine c over c equals sine b over b, we can combine these three equations, and we can say that uh, since <coughs> sine c over c is equal to sine c over c, in these two cases, we can join them together, and we have sine a over a, equals sine b over b and that is also equal to sine c over c okay so there there you have it there goes the law the law of sines All right, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Now you can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And if you like this video, you can click like. Please post a comment to tell me what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.